Hey guys, thanks for watching another one of our Ludicrous Feed videos. First of all, I just want to start by thanking everyone who's commented so far in the last couple of videos on my Powerwall 2. Uh, it means a lot to me that there are so many people out there who are just as passionate about sustainable living and battery solutions and so solar power as, as I am. So thank you very much. In fact, today's video comes from one of our, um, our watchers, our viewers, uh, Lawrence, who has said, thanks for the video. Can you do a calculation with your five kilowatt system with battery and see what the payback time is, please? Well, first of all, thank you, Lawrence, for that comment. And yes, I will definitely do this video for you. And for anyone else who's interested in buying solar panels and a power wall too for your home energy solutions. So first of all, let's get straight into it my trusty whiteboard uh, blackboard behind me so before we start this video we're going to make a, a few assumptions so the first assumption is that you are an average australian household and you use 20 kilowatt hours of battery um, of energy per day number two um, the second assumption is that you have a typical household pattern of energy usage so let's revise a little bit so if this is energy, if this is time, then you will have two peaks of energy during the day, one in the morning and one in the evening when everyone's home. If you were to install solar panels, your panels would uh, look something like this, whereby it would be the sun would sorry the sun would be setting around about 6 p.m. at night when everyone is coming home to use their appliances. And that's about 6 p.m. Uh, sorry, 6 a.m. when everyone is waking up. So as you can see, uh, the solar panels only cover a little bit of your energy during the day and a little bit of energy when everyone's coming home. Um, but during the night, there's uh, not much sun, so the um, energy used has to come from somewhere else, whether it's the grid or, as we'll talk about, the battery. Right, so that's an assumption you will make. And that little area under the curve for rub it out is 25% of the solar output for the day. All right, so that's one assumption we need to make. Obviously, it's more or less depending on the amount of sun, the amount of energy you're using, but we're gonna use this figure of 25%. The third assumption I wanna make is that a Powerwall 2 with installation in Australia is gonna cost you $11,000. That's for a Powerwall 2. And number four, currently solar panels cost $375 per panel. And each panel is 250 watts. Sorry, 250 watts. So, with that in mind, if you have a five kilowatt array and each panel is 250 watts, 250 watts goes into 5 kilowatts 20 times, so you will need 20 panels. And each panel, remember, costs $375, which will give you $7,500 for a 5 kilowatt array. And then the Powerwall 2 will cost you $11,000 with installation included, which gives you a grand total of $18,500, my maths is correct. So that's how much we need to make up, um, and we'll see how many years that will take to pay off that amount of money. So keep that figure in mind, $18,500. In fact, I'll put it up here so that we don't forget. Right, so if you have a five kilowatt array, with my experience and what I've read on the internet and with experts that I've spoken to, you can expect an output which is four times your array for each day. So each day you can expect an output of 20 kilowatt hours. So that's the output of your solar panels. Second point, the average Australian household uses 20 kilowatt hours per day. If you have solar panels, no matter how big the array, from 1.25 kilowatt onwards, 25% of which will be covered by your solar panels. So that's one quarter of 20 kilowatts is 
five kilowatt hours. Which leaves you with the rest 15 kilowatt hours remaining to be made up by your battery or the grid. So let's go back to this. If you have 20 kilowatt hours, so back to this one. If five kilowatt hours is used to power your house during the day, you need to charge 13.5 kilowatt hours to the power wall too, which is the maximum amount a power wall two can charge per day, which means the remainder, 20 minus 13.5 minus five will give you 1.5 kilowatt hours. This will be um, metered to the grid, so export to the grid. So keep those figures in mind of your 20 kilowatt hours that you produced with your solar panels using a five kilowatt array. Five kilowatt hours will be covering the house straight off. If you have a battery, 13.5 kilowatt hours will go straight to the power wall too, to charge, to use later on during the day. The remaining 1.5 kilowatt hours from the 20 minus 13.5 minus five needs to be exported to the grid. So let's keep those three figures in mind. Now I know there's two types of billing. There's time of use billing and there's also standard tariff. Just for the sake of a straightforward argument, I'm gonna use the standard tariff today, just to make things easier. So 30 cents per kilowatt hour is how much we are paying in New South Wales at the moment. I'm with AGL, but I think a lot of the other companies are very similar once you take into account different fees and so on. But let's stick with 30 cents per kilowatt hour. <clears throat> so those three, three figures we had before, if your solar panels during the day can cover five kilowatt hours, therefore you have offset 30 cents per kilowatt hour. I'm just gonna put in dollar units. That gives you $1.50 which you've saved using your panels. The 13.5 kilowatt hours for the power wall too. I'm gonna to break this up into two. I'm gonna assume also that you've got an efficient hot water system. Now an efficient hot water system like a heat pump actually generates only three, only requires three kilowatt hours per day. So if we have three kilowatt hours for hot water, That will leave you 10.5 kilowatt hours for the rest of the power wall too to use on your other appliances at home. Now hot water is only 18.5 cents. So 0 0.1 right up to 1.9. So 19 cents for three kilowatt hours worth of hot water will give you uh, 57 cents. So if say 57 cents using the power wall too, to uh, run your hot water system, which is efficient. So that's to be efficient. Obviously, if you've got a pure electrical hot water system, that's gonna be more, but I wanna assume you've got a, a, an efficient heat pump at three kilowatt hours per day. So, which means 10.5 kilowatt hours, which you've offset at 30 cents. Now for this, I'll need my calculator. My maths isn't that good. So let me double check for you. So 10.5 kilowatts times 30 cents is $3.15. Now, so your, remember, remember your um, solar panels, your array is gonna produce 20 kilowatt hours per day. So what's remaining? 20 minus five, minus 13.5, 1.5. So you've got 1.5 kilowatt hours, which you can export to the grid at 11 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, that's with my plan with AGL, so I'm gonna use my numbers here. Obviously, everyone's a little bit different, but 11 cents per kilowatt hour at 15 kilowatt hours, so let's round up to 17 cents. So 17 cents, which means per day, so this is a per day figure, your, five, your 20 kilowatt hour, sorry, your five kilowatt array plus your 13.5 kilowatt hour power wall two is going to offset this much in energy usage per day. So $1.50 plus $3.15 plus uh, 57 cents plus 17 cents. 
So I've come to a figure of $5.39. So let's make it $5.40 round up. So $5.40 per day is how much you can expect to offset your energy because you've got solar panels and you've got a power wall too. So keep that figure in mind. In fact, I'll write it up here so we know. $5.40. So let's rub all this out and then we'll start again to give you the grand total of years that it will take back to pay back your power wall 2 plus a 5 kilowatt array. So that's per day. Let's times that by 365 days in a year. $5.40 times 365 is 1,971. So I'll make it 1,970. That's per year. Per year. All right, so before I give you the grand total, let's remind ourselves of a 5 kilowatt array, solar array, plus uh, a power wall 2 will cost you that much, $18,500. This is the figure it will um, offset your power every year, $1,970. So the total number of years, total time for payback, your power wall 2 plus your 5 kilowatt array is, drum roll please, 18500 divided by 1970. I've got here 9.4 years. So somewhere between 9 and 10 years is what you can expect the amount of time it will take to pay back a 5 kilowatt array and a power wall 2 installation at the same time. That sort of sits in line with the figures that I read. Some people say, say 8, some people say 10. It, it's really hard to gauge because everyone uses energy differently. Uh, every home is different. So I've given you one example of a 5 kilowatt array and a power wall 2 installation. I must say I think that's probably the most common recommendation for a household. Only because I know that the average house uses 20 kilowatt hours in Australia. If you've got a 5 kilowatt array, you're going to produce 20 kilowatt hours per day across the year. So that's kind of a logical recommendation by most solar providers. So 9.4 years, sure it's a long time, but think of the benefits. You are off the grid most of the time. You're doing something good for the environment. You're using sustainable energy source using the sun and using minimal amounts of coal and fossil fuels. So better for the environment, better for your conscience, I think better for future generations. But there it is, 9.4 years payback time. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching and thank you, Lawrence, for that question once again. So encouraged by all your responses, by your comments, by your feedback, by your subscriptions. We're up to 88 subscribers today, so keep them coming. Keep asking those questions. Keep believing, keep being passionate like myself. Let's get sustainable living and sustainable energy sources in this country because it, it's, only good, it's only good for our nation and good for future generations to come. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day wherever you are. And as always, happy charging. Hey, thanks for watching. And thank you for helping us to bring the electric vehicle revolution to Australia. If you've enjoyed our videos, please take a moment to hit subscribe. We would really appreciate it. If you're close to buying a brand new Tesla, then lucky you. Use one of our promo codes on screen to unlock special goodies from Tesla. Happy charging!